A high mark, it's Tao. I, I'm, I'm in a state of shock. I, I went to sleep last night and I woke up and I, I suddenly I was in the strangest place I've ever seen. It was foggy and there were boats. They seemed to be waiting for me. They wanted to ferry me across a strange river. I wanted to go in, but I, I blinked and suddenly I'd been transported onto another planet. It felt like Mars. It was, it was red and rocky. The only difference was that there was water flowing through it and ice and other strange liquids. And there were signs of some kind of civilization. My first thought was that I had been abducted by aliens. I, I felt my camera around my neck, so I just started looking around. Out of instinct, I just started shooting. And then I stumbled on this power plant of sorts. There were these massive silver tubes and turbines spewing white steam, and there were geodesic domes scattered around the landscape. And it was all being run by these strange creatures. They, they looked like, a bit like sheep, and but they were highly intelligent, and they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then I thought, of course, I haven't been abducted by aliens. That's absurd. Uh, I must have just taken some very powerful hallucinogenic drug and I'm just at the peak of an immense trip right now. It was all so psychedelic, the landscapes, the, the bizarre plants, the, the colors, the, the impossible colors. Waterfalls everywhere I looked. The entire mood of the place was psychedelic. But every time I closed my eyes, I, I'd open them and I, I was in a different place. I'd find myself driving down a road, then I was in a lava field, then suddenly I was suspended over this massive waterfall. It was terrifying. Millions of gallons per second were flowing into this abyss, and I was above it, and I, I had this vertiginous feeling in my stomach. And this all made me think I must be dreaming. You know how it's impossible to read in a dream? The only signs I saw seemed to be in this quasi-Roman alphabet but the words were so long that no human being could possibly pronounce them. Then suddenly I breathed in and there was this overwhelming stench of sulfur in the air. And I thought, oh Christ, I've, I've died and gone to hell. I was really worried about this because I remembered Dante in the Inferno saying that the innermost circle of hell isn't fiery. It's a lake of ice. And I found myself in just such a lake, contemplating the, all the things I'd done wrong in my life. And I thought, this is, this is where I'm going to spend all of eternity. Occasionally, I'd see other people, and I'd try and talk to them, but they were far away, and I couldn't communicate with them. There was a profound sense of solitude in this mysterious place. The more time passed, like it felt like days were passing, but it never got dark. And then I thought, there's no way this can be hell though. There's no way hell can be this beautiful. Where am I? Where am I? I kept saying. And then just as suddenly as I'd appeared there, I opened my eyes and I was home in bed again. And I thought, wow, what a crazy dream I just had. How will I ever explain it to anyone? And then I, I turned and as I floated back into consciousness, I, I saw my camera by the bed and I flipped it on and I couldn't believe my eyes. The pictures that I'd taken in my dream, they're all there.